Hello, everybody. As you know, this channel is about self-help, but it's also about alternate science, which is what I, I want it to be mainly about. Because I, I'm just really angry that pe some people just don't get it with science. We're going to talk about meteorology. And these pictures here demonstrate exactly what meteorology is. For example, look at this guy here. He is looking at cloud formation. So he's got all these computer screens so he can get the most accurate readings possible. Look at these guys. It's like a like a mission control, like a NASA space mission. Look at this guy. He's got, he's got four monitors here. Hey, surely he's going to be accurate. But then you read articles which suggest that weather forecasts are so often wrong that they, they, they predict a, a crippling historic blizzard that never arrived. Why do weathermen get it wrong so often? Well, the thing is, all they do is use a computer to model what the clouds are doing based on what they've done historically. And as the situation evolves, they, they, they tweak the results a bit. And that is all, that is really all they do. So this can never, this can never predict more than a few days in advance with any accuracy at all, because the clouds are always changing and changing and, and changing. I mean, they're, they're all, clouds are almost like crystals. They're crystallizing and recrystallizing and uncrystallizing. Look at this time lapse that I did. They're just, they're just changing all the time. So, so these guys are wrong. They're getting it wrong. And I, even when I was little, I remember they said, uh, oh, the, the Weather Bureau has got a, a new thousand dollar, you know, a million dollar computer and they're going to, to have more accurate weather forecasts. And then I remember about a month later, uh, they, they, they got it wrong by 10 degrees. It was supposed to be a hot day. It was cold. So they don't know what they're doing. And what they're doing is what the cosmologists are doing. They're modeling. So they're saying it appears to work like this and therefore this is good enough. But why would you want to do that when you can actually understand how it works? And the only way to understand how it works is long-range weather forecasting. So in this video, I'm saying, could Stonehenge actually predict weather better than these guys? And I am a fan of Ken Ring, this guy here. And he wrote a book which you can read on his website called How to Fo Forecast the Weather by the Moon. And he says the atmosphere is, is it, it, well, look, look what the atmosphere is. It's basically another huge ocean, but it, 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 it's made it out of the gas phase. And the moon is pulling it around the Earth all the time. And the moon is always in a different location. And the thing is, do you notice with thunderstorms? And this is what really gets me. And this is what, what, what really angers me. A thunderstorm can re repeat day after day after day at the same time every day so you suddenly have a cool you suddenly have sunny weather in the morning then a cool change of thunderstorm next day you get the same thing sunny weather in the morning cool change and thunderstorm and that shows you that there is something in relation to the length of the day which is controlling the weather and what would that be other than the moon uh, not, it wouldn't be anything else so he, he really is correct in this and one of the, the things that really stands out for me is the metonic cycle. And he says that to really predict the weather well, all you have to do is look at the weather record 19 years ago to the day. And that's when the moon was in exactly the same place in the sky. Check what the weather was in that location. And that's what the weather will be on that day 19 years in the future. And I, I find that quite amazing. I find it even more amazing that the builders of Stonehenge incorporated this 19-year metonic lunar cycle into Stonehenge. And why would they do something like that if, if, if the metonic cycle is just symbolic? It, it, it's, a, it, it's, it's a phase of time that they use to measure between two points. It's really quite incredible. But did the builders of Stonehenge also know that, or were they aware of some deeper ancient history that somehow the, the weather was being repeated every 19 years. So I'm wondering if we could use this based on the metonic cycle uh, to somehow predict the weather. Obviously, there, 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 there needs to be more than this, but I don't think anyone has even looked into this. And there's a lot of information going on here, a lot. So who knows about that? Guys, I want to thank you for watching this channel. It's a pretty small channel so far. Look, this is more information. Do you know what these are? Noctilucent clouds. And noctil noctilucent clouds are only seen after sunset at latitudes 
uh, pretty pretty much uh, l low latitudes. What I mean is uh, near the poles. So, but do you see what these are? And they can only be seen after sunset. These are crystallization across the sky. These are the glaciers of the sky. If you treat the sky as an ocean, and they, they spread from the poles across the sky. So Ice Age skies would be like, this, this is a subject for another video. It's like ice in the sky. And so, so there is a huge amount going on in the skies, which is uh, the atmosphere is not treated like another ocean, but it really is. And the atmosphere is so important. The moon is so important. We need to look at what's going on. Uh, Long-range weather forecasting, I truly believe it. I really believe it. In, uh, um, in 2008, there was a guy who said the drought's over. And we had a huge drought in Australia, 2001 to 2008. And he was right. You know, it, some kids grew up never hearing the rain. They didn't know what rain was. Unbelievable. Anyway, so that's why I think modern meteorology is simply modeling. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bunch of nonsense. Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. It's, it's just, yeah, see, see, that's what they're doing. That's, this will solve everything for you. This is the solution. You look, you look at that, look at the cloud. This is the solution. Oh, the cloud's going over here now. It's going to be raining there. This is, no, 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 this is not the solution. The solution is to really understand what's driving the atmosphere, what's changing everything. And these guys just aren't interested enough. That's the thing, they're not curious. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that different perspective. And uh, thumbs up and sub if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Bye.